Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Alert. Guys, I think Hypixel Alert is becoming a Sunday deal, so from now on, expected on Sundays. I kind of like that a lot. Let me know what you think about the change in the comments below. But guys, we've got a ton of news to get into today, so let's get straight into it. Our first story is one unlike any other I've done here on Hypixel Alert. Yep, you saw it in the thumbnail and title of this video. This is coming from a player known as Duppy, and well, this week, he got MVP++ for life. He tweeted out a picture with question marks showing MVP++ expiring in 17,673 days. Now, when I first saw this, the first thing I thought of was, well, this has got to be Photoshop, right? There's no way this can be legit. And well, not too long after making this tweet, Duppy here made a video titled, I got MVP++ for 48 years. That's right, this guy managed to get MVP++ for 48 years years okay for those who don't know mvp plus plus on the store is eight dollars a month now if you do the math this comes out to about forty seven hundred dollars in u.s currency which is absolutely ridiculous now of course i did reach out to the man here and say hey do you know how this happened who bought it for you did an admin give it to you and he says he has absolutely no idea how he got it he says he was just checking one day and saw that he had it so I, I have no idea what to make of this story. Admins, if you are watching this video, uh, if you have any feedback on this, I would love some of that because, I mean, I am clueless on this story. I have absolutely no idea. I mean, what glitch could have caused this? I highly doubt any player bought it for him, especially without saying anything about it. Guys, but regardless, I guess we'll find out whether this is a glitch or not, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. But also in the news this week, Pixel Baker, an admin on Hypixel, made a forum post this week titled July Developer Summary, Minecraft 1.13, Guild Update, and more. Now I'll just stop right there. It isn't the first time I have seen the Guild Update name in a forum post. I mean, it's been like two years since they said this was coming out. I'm, I'm starting to lose hope whenever they say this, but... Let's find out. Now the first thing Mr. Pixelbaker talks about in this forum post is the new compatibility for Minecraft 1.13 and he basically just says they are working on it with progress and he actually gives an update to the last episode of Hypixel Alert where I said hopefully 1.8 does not get removed and at the moment he says that 1.8 is their top priority next to the newest version. Now here's where he talks about the guild update and <laughs> let's get into it. As talked about in the 1.13 section of this post, Unfortunately, the guild update has seen some delays due to the change in roadmap caused by the pending release of 1.13. The complexity and scale of the systems used in the guild update and the 1.13 support require our most experienced network developers, which caused delay to be unavoidable. We are aiming for the guild update to be released between mid-July and the end of July, depending on the release of 1.13. Now, I will say this does look hopeful, but I mean, we've heard this before. This is kind of like the boy that's cried wolf here. I, I have no idea. I really do want to believe Hypixel that they're gonna make it happen by the end of this month. But I mean, uh, it's literally what they said two years ago. So anyway, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Of course, I'm always hopeful that that is the case. So. I don't know, we will find out and see. Now there are a couple more things I want to get into in this forum post, and the first one is the new pre-game changes. Now, I'm only going to get into one feature because I thought it was really cool, and this is that once a game is getting close to filling up and starting, a message will appear in the lobby, as you can see there, saying, hey, you probably should join the game, it's going to fill up soon. Now this is going to be very useful for games such as UHC, or Sky Wars, or really any mini game on Hypixel. So I cannot wait for this to take place, and then later in the forum post he says, Here are some of the things to expect in July. Including new content for the pit, the pregame lobby changes as stated earlier, the Sky Wars Lucky Block V2, at least two or more games getting quality of life updates, new summer maps for a host of games, and lots and lots of bug fixes. Now guys, we have three more forum posts to get into over the course of this episode, so we'll get into one more of those right now. And this is the one everyone's been talking about since it came out, the release of the new 
pit update. This one was done by Miniclune, titled The Pit Point 3.5 Second Map and Mystic Well. Now I'm just going to go over the highlights of this because it is a really big forum post. Of course, all the links to today's forum post will be in the description as always. They added a new map, as you can see here, called Four Seasons, and I've got to say, this just looks absolutely awesome. The build team always doing amazing on these builds. I mean, just look at the design and intricacy of it all. It's just absolutely incredible. Now, they also added a new feature into the game called the Mystic Well. Only Prestige 1 and Up players have access to this. So if you play a lot and prestige yourself out, that used to really do hardly anything, but now you have access to this. This means that once you kill a player, if you are prestige one and above, now the players you kill have a chance to drop a mystic item, which can be from tiers one through three. Now they even added a new concept into this called item lives, and this means that if you were to die with one of your crazy sick enchanted items, if it has say three lives on it, that means you can die with it three times before it disappears. Now you're also able to enchant these items that the players have the potential ability to drop and it says here there are 120 custom enchants which that is a crazy amount basically the way i'm seeing this is if you play in the pit a ton well then you get a lot of perks now, they have also added something called the robbery event where you can rob other players and keep the stashes and whatever you keep at the end is what you gain and then also there were some balance changes and bug fixes as well so i will leave a link to this forum post in the description if you are interested all right well guys our next story is coming from everyone's favorite helper on hypixel linehead upcoming YouTuber with over 30,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness, I just checked. This guy has 35,000. Jeez, he grows fast. Well, anyway, this week he uploaded a video not many people have the chance to make titled, I had to decide between Hypixel Helper and YouTube Rank. Now he says in the video that of course, not many people get set in this position. The one person closest to this was Refraction long, long ago who had YouTube Rank and Moderator. And now Linehead a couple years later is at the exact same position and in the video, he basically says that he has decided to stay with Helper. He says he loves Helper and he really wants to continue doing what he's doing. And the best way to do that is to keep the same role that he has. Now, I honestly thought Linehead here was going to go for YouTube rank, but I mean, he really loves his job. So I've got to give big props for that. Now, this was honestly a really well-made video, very thought out. So I'll leave a link to it in the description. If you haven't already, make sure to go check that out. But yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. That is an impossible decision. Well, also in the news, Rollenter this week made a new forum post titled Skywars Lab Rotation, Lucky Blocks V2, Mega Doubles Changes, and more. Now, the first thing in this forum post is the Lucky Blocks V2 opening, which people are kind of 50-50 on because, well, Lucky Blocks should be in the classic games menu, if you know what I mean. It's, uh... <coughs> dead. Well, anyway, for this game, they added some new effects and added some balance changes and bug fixes. Nothing too crazy there. Now, the next thing he talks about are the Mega Doubles Changes. And this is basically the transition from all of the Mega stuff into Mega Doubles. Now, all kits from Mega Sky Wars will contribute and act as Mega Doubles kits, as well as the achievements and vice versa. And of course, some more bug fixes. So once again, link is in the description for that one. But we have got our final story today, and this one is a UHC update. Coming from Nitroholic titled, UHC Vanilla Doubles and Pre-Game Improvements. Now, I really do like this new mode they have added called the Vanilla Mode. It means there are no perks, no recipes, no skills, and one row of hearts. So you get in there and it's like a normal game of UHC. Now, that's for people like me who don't have a crazy amount of stuff are very excited about because it means no one's going to have an automatic advantage over someone else. Now again, this is a two week only limited time mode, so make sure to play it. I cannot emphasize that enough. It will go away, so you want to play it while you can. Now they also added some pregame changes, including the ones that we talked about on the first forum post here on Hypixel Alert. And I've gotta say, for people like me who wanna see UHC fill up, this is a really great improvement. And of course, they had some bug fixes and general changes as well. So, for the fourth time today, the link will be in the description to this forum post. But guys, we've got so many of those we had to get into today, and I apologize. There were just so many. So I've got to say, big props to all the people working really hard at Hypixel this month, getting all those updates out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's episode. Before I end off, I'd like to give a shout out to the co-owner on my Discord, MinecraftBot. That's his name. Nothing crazy, but I thought I should say happy birthday to you, man. Hope you're having a good day. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you're somehow not already subscribed, 
make sure you do that. You want to stay inside the loop on everything that's happening on Hypixel, and Hypixel art is, of course, the best way to stay updated. If you've got any news to submit, my Twitter and Discord are in the description, as always. A P.O. box is down there, too, if you want to send something. And, of course, if you enjoyed this video, putting a like on it would be much appreciated because it shows that you like what I do here. It tells me that you're digging the vids. But other than that, thank you once again very much for watching. And hi, Pixel Nation. Now, over 34.5 thousand subscribers. And I will see you next time.